Hello, I'm Steve Mann. Welcome to Paper Classroom. In this uh, continuing history section, we're going to talk now about uh, paper machines. We're talking about machinery now. We've gone past handmade paper and we're on to machines. Now, the very first paper machine in the world was thought of, designed and built in France. It's a paper mill in Esson in France, making uh, paper for money, security paper. It didn't quite work properly, and so it was shipped over to the UK along with its plans. It eventually ended up in the hands of Brian Donkin, a well-known, at that time, English engineer. He took the device to Frogmore, where he uh, worked on it, corrected all the problems, got it to successfully produce paper on a commercial basis. And so 1803 saw the very first commercial paper machine. Today, it's hardly recognisable, but the principles are exactly the same. Now we have machines that are more than 10 metres wide and run us over 60 miles an hour. But you know, it all started from that one machine. On the site next to Frogmore was Apsley Mill. And there, another engineer, John Dickinson, had another idea for making paper. And he built this, what we call a, a cylinder mould machine. I couldn't find a, a picture of an old, original cylinder mould machine, so here's a fairly modern one. So whereas with the Fordrini machine, you have a trough of stock, a trough of water and fibre that squirts out onto a moving wire, in this design, you have a trough of stock and the moving wire is actually immersed in the stock. As the wire revolves, water passes through the wire, fibres are carried with it, they get stuck on the outside of that cylinder's wire, and then it's taken off at the top of the wire. Um, these particular cylinder mold machines are absolutely ideal for security papers because you can get three-dimensional watermarks with these, whereas with the traditional Fordrinia, you can only really get two-dimensional watermarks. The uh, cylinder mold and the Fordrinia fought for market share in those early years. The Fordrinia won because in theory there's no limit to how fast the Fordrinias can go. Um, with these type of machines, because of the revolving action, stock can get thrown off. So you're probably limited to no more than uh, 80 or 90 metres a minute maximum. And of course, you can join cylinder moulds together. Here is one configuration where we've got nine different cylinder moulds, different furnishes in some of them, producing a nine layer board. Those are all examples of single wire machines. There are also twin wire machines, and there are two types of twin wire machine. There's the twin wire former, and the twin wire Fordrinia. The difference is a twin wire former has one floor box, which you see here, but two wires. There's one wire, there's the other wire. The idea of a twin wire former is that you can drain upwards as well as downwards. That means you can drain the sheet faster so you can increase production speed and you also make the sheet less two-sided. This is one particular configuration of a twin wire former and here's another configuration of a twin wire former. This is a typical machine used for making newsprint. So here the stock is squirted almost vertically. It's caught between these two wires. This is the outer wire, this is the inner wire. Uh, the stock follows the inner wire and then off into the pressing and drying section. <clears throat> now the other type of machine other than a twin wire former is a twin wire Fordrinia. Essentially you've got two Fordrinia machines. 
So this time, rather than two wires and one floor box, you have two wires and two floor boxes. So here is a floor box that will squirt wire, oh sorry, will squirt stock onto this wire. There you have a second floor box that will squirt stock onto this wire. And both wires will then come together. You'll make a two ply sheet of paper. With the, in this particular configuration, you've got two top sides together. So you're producing a sheet of paper that has two wire sides. Just as a little thought for you, I pose a question. If you've got two sheets of paper, each with a wire side and a top side, how many ways are there of putting those two sheets of paper together? Pause the video for a moment, have a think about it. What do you think the answer is? Okay, pause now. Right, welcome back. The answer is three. In this configuration, you've got two top sides coming together to give you a sheet with two wire sides. You could also have a configuration where you put two wire sides together to give you a sheet with two top sides. And you can also put them together like that. So you've got a wire side and a top side. So the final sheet also has a wire side and a top side. Well, how many of you got that right? Congratulations if you did. <clears throat> and we don't have to stop at uh, two wires. This is a configuration with four wires producing a four ply sheet of paper. But five ply is also quite common. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed our introduction to paper making machinery. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy our other videos. Um, please come back and have a look at some more of them. Give us any feedback. We uh, appreciate everything that you say to us. Thank you very much for your time and for your attention.